Namaste all, welcome to class 58. Firstly, I request you to subscribe our Yoga Vanta YouTube channel for regular updates. Now, we'll start today's session. First, sit comfortably. If it is possible, sit in Vajrasana. I should just adapt Chin Mudra in your both hands. Keep your back and neck straight. You should just close your eyes gently. First, relax your facial muscles. Especially, relax your forehead muscles and eyebrows. Now you should just calm down your mind. Just draw your mind inward and focus on your breath flow. Now with complete awareness, just try to make your breath slower and deeper. Just continue with slow and deep breathing. Now let's start the session by chanting Omkara three times. First, exhale completely. Inhale deeply. resonance of Omkara. Now slowly hold your hands at your back, hold at your breast. Now just stretch your neck up as you inhale and expand your chest. Slowly bend forward as you exhale and try to touch your forehead to the floor. Offer your salutations to Mother Land. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Release your hands and rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now just release your hands slowly. With few blinks slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. 
Now just stretch your legs forward and sit in Sukhasana. So now you do Brahmari for uh, 10 counts by yourself. So whatever practice we did in 56 and 57, the actual practice of Brahmari with Chandmugi Mudra, do it for 10 times. Uh, after doing for 10 times, then you should uh, resume this video. So from today, we'll just uh, make a slight changes in the practicing pattern. Uh, till these days, uh, in the flexibility class, we were doing uh, loosening practice and we do Surya Namaskara and then Asanas. So what happens is in one hour incorporating loosening practice, prana, uh, I mean breathing practice, uh, loosening practices and uh, Surya Namaskara and then Asanas. So it will be very much lengthier and in order to do the advanced level of Asanas, the time is becoming very constrained. So what we'll do is, so well, if you are, you know, if you do the practice regularly from day one, whatever we did, class one, class two, all the practice if you have done in the proper way and if you are done in the proper, you know, you know uh, 1 to 20 we will do, I suggested to do for one week, I mean one week each class and from 20 to 40 the pattern differs and from for after 40 the pattern is different. So if you are done in the same pattern then your body will be having certain amount of flexibility so that you can manage to go to Surya Namaskara straight away. From now what we'll do is we'll go straight away to Surya Namaskara and then we'll work on the asanas. And here uh, if your body is not flexible, we practice for one or two days. So if you can manage to do straight away Surya Namaskara, it's well and good. If you find very difficulty to do Surya Namaskara straight away, you can pause the video again. So you just do some of the warming up practices like toe movement and uh, butterfly. So this kind of warming up practices and then you can get into Surya Namaskara. So after Surya Namaskara, uh, from today, we'll uh, in this video, we'll straight away get into Surya Namaskara. After doing Surya Namaskara, we'll get into Asanas. And Asanas also, uh, when you are attempting for advanced level of Asanas and all, you need to stay for longer period of time. Uh, until unless you are not staying for longer period of time, uh, you know, that flexibility will not stay for long lasting. So what we'll do is, uh, from today, I'll just, depending on the intensity of the uh, of asanas, I'll just make you to stay for 45 seconds, one minute or one and a half minute like that. You just do along with me. Uh, you know, when I, whenever I say release, you just release. Whenever I say to hold, you just hold till the point where I tell to release. Even anyways, I'll be doing along with you. Just match with me and do the practice. I'll be checking with my watch and I'll just uh, let you know the duration. I'll just check the duration and I'll just let you know. Okay. Uh, I'll just let you know when to release. So we'll uh, start today's practice from Surya Namaskara straight away. So all of you come to the standing position. Those who want to do warming up practices, you can do warming up anyways. You are attended classes for these days. So you can straight away get into Surya. Uh, you just do warming up practices, whatever you know, and then you can get into Surya Namaskara. In this video, we are going to Surya Namaskara straight away. Now just come to the standing position. Now, stand in front portion of the mat, we do 12 rounds of Surya Namaskara, join your both legs and adapt Namaskar Mudra. Start Urdhvasana, lift your hands up, push your waist, mid back, stretch your neck, Hastapadasana, Ekapada, Dvipadasana, Shashankhasana, Sashtanga Pranikatasana, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, Ekapada, right leg front, Hastaparasana, Urdhvasana, Hastaparasana, left leg back, Dvipada Prasranasana Shashanka Sashtanga Bhujangasana Bhudrasana Shashanka Left leg front Hastaparasana 
Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, Right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, Left leg back, Dvipada, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, left leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada Prasarasana, Shashanka, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, Shashanka, Left leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Seventh round, Hastapadasana, Right leg back, Vipadapasana, Ten step Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, right leg front, Hastaparasana, Urdvasana, five more round, Hastaparasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, left front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, last four round, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, right front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, three more round, Hastapadasana, left leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, left leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, last two rounds, Hastapadasana, right leg back, Dvipada, Sashtanga, Bhujangasana, Bhudarasana, right leg front, Hastapadasana, Urdvasana, Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hastaparasana. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10. Eka pada, lift leg back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Vipada. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sashtanga. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bujangasana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bhudrasana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ekapada, left leg front. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hastapadasana. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Urdhvasana. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Namaskara. Now you just sit on your mat. Sit in Sukhasana. I should just adapt chin mudra in your both hands. Your back should be straight. Just close your eyes gently. Consciously observe the effects happening on your body. Especially observe the fast flow of breath. <coughs> Just sense the rapid blood circulation throughout the body. Complete awareness. Once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation. Palming. Now just rub your palms each other, make your palms warm. Just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now just release your hands slowly. With few blinks, slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Now we'll get into the asana part. So here, the first practice will be like this. We'll do a supine posture. We'll work on stretching of the hips. Uh, today, we'll do uh, the practice which are related to twistings. So whenever you do twisting postures, 
generally will be having good amount of flexibility in twisting so in the spine will be having good amount of flexibility mainly will lag on the stretch of the hip muscles your glutes so we will work on uh, stretching the glutes so that uh, it will get acts as a preparatory for you know when you are doing twisting postures today we will be doing ardhamatsendrasana and some of the variations of ardhamatsendrasana and all so when, in order to attempt for ardhamatsendrasana you should be having good flexibility at the hip region so we will do one we will start with one hip stretch practice so this practice goes like this you see you should just Line your back by taking support of your elbows. You should just line your back, and then you should just place your, place your leg one on the other. You see, here knees should be one on the other. That's the main part here. Generally, we'll place uh, somewhat like this, and we did the practices before. But in today's practice, you should place it like right like this. You see, your knees are one on the other, and then you should catch hold your leg and press your leg and stay in the position you just observe the stretch at the hip region and generally what happens when you do like this will hold from here so this has to be avoided try to pull it up and hold from front and then let your back resting on the floor and let your thigh pressing on the abdomen and be in the position this for a few period of time and then we'll lift the head and stay for a few period of time okay so we'll start the practice first fold your both legs make sure you are resting your spine comfortably on the floor now just place your right leg on the left make sure your knees are one on the other and then pull your leg now just catch hold your left leg from your both hands once you hold then rest your spine on the floor press your thigh to the abdomen and be in the position stay keep on pressing close your eyes feel the stretch and breathe just stay for a minute just be with the posture Now you should just press your thigh to your abdomen, lift your head up and breathe. Bring your head closer to the leg. Stay one, but you keep on pressing your thigh to your abdomen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now slowly release. Relax. Feet on the floor and relax your body. complimentary place your left leg on the right bring your knees one on the other and just catch hold your legs from your both hands press your thighs to your abdomen stay in the posture just stay for a minute feel the stretch happening at your hip region Apply some pressure on pressing your thigh to your abdominal region. Don't overstrain. Just do as much as you can. Next 
legs. Now just press your thigh further, lift your head up. Stay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Now slowly release. Feet on the floor. Relax your body for a while. Relax your thigh joints and hip region. Stretch your right hand over the head, lift palm on your abdomen, slowly roll to the right and come to the standing position, stand up in Tadasana. Next, we'll get into the practice of uh, Parivrta Trikonasana. So here in uh, Parivrta Trikonasana, you should keep your legs around three and a half feet apart. You should tuck your left foot in and then you should turn your right leg towards right side. So, and here you should stretch your hands in the shoulder level. You should place your left palm next to your right foot. So when you are doing this practice, your upper body should be straight. By lengthening your spine, you should twist and place your palm next to your foot. Your legs should be straight and then you should stretch your hand up, look up and be in the position. So here, when you are doing this practice, generally what happens, you are your shoulder will be moving away from the leg like this. You should walk in such a way that your shoulders, your legs should be in a straight line and then you should look up and be in the position. Okay, you should follow all these key points and do the practice. So first, keep your legs around three and a half feet apart. Place your palms on the waist. Now just tuck your left foot in, right leg towards right side. Now hands in the shoulder level. Now just try to place your left palm next to your right foot, twist, knee should be straight, twist your spine, look up and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now slowly come up as we inhale. Exhale, place your palms on the waist, turn your foot in. So here, uh, if you find difficulty to place your palm next to the feet, to the right side, if you, uh, if you find difficulty, you can place it to the left side. You see, if you can find difficult to place here, you can place it here. If you find even this one difficult, you can place a, a block or anything here and you can place it on that and do the practice. If you find even uh, that one difficult, just place your palm on the knee. You can take support of the wall and twist as much as you can. Look up. The sufficient day by day practicing you can go uh, closer to the ankle so we'll go to the other side tuck your right foot in turn your left leg towards left hands in the shoulder level by lengthening your spine twist place your palm next to your foot lengthen your spine twist your body stretch your hand up look up and be in a position one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now slowly come out from the posture as you inhale. Exhale. Now just bring your legs closer. Relax in Shadala Dharasana, legs in shoulder width apart. Drop your hands free, close your eyes and relax your body. complete awareness once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation now with few blinks slowly open your eyes now in the next practice so here it's called as a shisha padasana it's a variation of shisha padasana there are many variations of shisha padasana in that this is also one of the variation so here in uh, today's practice you should come to the position of ekapadasana same in surya namaskara whatever key points will follow you should come to the same uh, you should follow the same key points and come to the position so once you are in ekapadasana you should just take the hand, whichever leg is front, you should take that arm inside and hold at your ankle from both and uh, both the hands and place your touch your foot at your ankle and be in the position. So I'll just demonstrate in the other side. So for example, if your right leg is front, from your left hand, you should hold at your right ankle and place your elbow on the floor. This leg should be stretched to the maximum and from right hand, you should catch hold at your ankle from both the hands and try to touch your foot at the heel. So from frontward, it will be like this. So first step is, whichever leg is front, opposite hand holding the knee, elbow on the floor and this hand will be taken from inside and work on touching your foot at the ankle. And sometimes what happens is, see we will we'll not stretch this leg properly if you don't stretch this leg properly then your knee will exceed the toes and you'll be doing somewhere here like this so that's the reason you should stretch the leg which is behind this to the maximum extent so that your knee will not cross the toes try to uh, avoid knee crossing to the toes so stretch this leg to the maximum and then you see if you stretch it properly then impact will be there on the hip region if you don't stretch it then it will come somewhat here like this this will build some strain at the knee and which is not essential so you should work on stretching the glutes so you should take your leg back and then do the practice you slide your knee to the maximum extent and do the practice okay so we'll start the practice you can take your right leg front and left leg back stretch your leg to the maximum extent now from your left hand, catch hold your right ankle, place your left elbow on the floor. If it is possible, you can stretch your leg further and take your right hand inside, hold it your ankle, push your waist down and try to touch your forehead to your right ankle and breathe. Feel the stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, push your weights down, eighteen, 19, 20, now slowly come out from the posture, take the right leg back, now when you go to the other side, now just take your left leg front, come to the position of Ekapadasana, stretch your right leg to the maximum, from your right hand, catch hold your left ankle, place right elbow on the floor and hold your left ankle from your both hands, 
stretch your leg to the maximum try to touch your 480 left ankle stay one feel stretch happening at your hip region two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty now just come out from the posture release now just sit on your mat just relax in shital dandasana legs apart put your head back close your eyes and relax your body for a while Few blinks. Slowly open your eyes. Next will be Vakrasana. Just watch the practice. So here you should fold your right leg and place it next to your right knee. Okay. So here uh, your ankle joint and your knee joint should be in the straight line. And don't you know touch your uh, just don't uh, stick your ankle to the knee here. You should keep your legs slightly outward so that you'll get uh, good balance when you are doing this posture. If you uh, keep it like this, the tendency of me falling to one side will be there. That will be feeling discomfort in the posture. So try to keep your foot slightly away from the left knee. Okay. So from here, once you are, this alignment is done, you should place your right hand at your back and then you should lift your left hand up. And the next part is you should cover the gap between your shoulder and your leg. So you should lift, cover the gap between shoulder and the leg. So once you are done with this, work on holding at the foot and try to hold it in this way. If you find very difficulty, it's okay to do like this. But day by day practicing, you should hold exactly in this manner. You should hold the foot from inside and uh, generally you'll be hunching the back like this. This is a common tendency. You should work on lengthening your spine, open up your chest and you should look back. And after holding this, if you can manage to keep your ankle right next to your knee, that's good. But when you are going to the posture, keep it a little bit away. Okay, then lengthen your spine, you should open up your chest and you should just look back and be in the position. Okay, well go step by step. First, fold your right leg. Place your right ankle joint and left knee joint in the straight line. Now, right hand at your back. You should just lift your left hand up. From your left hand, cover your right leg. Cover the gap between shoulder and your leg. If you want, you can take support of the palm and fix it. Once you're done with that, you can hold at your foot from inside. Then if it is possible, place your ankle and knee next to each other and then palm at the back, turn your face back, stay, breathe and stay for a minute. Lengthen your spine, open up your chest and keep on breathing. Feel the posture, feel the twist of the spine. 
you should not hold your breath. Now slowly, lift your left hand up as you inhale, exhale, and just palms on the floor and just stretch your leg and relax in Shital Dandasana. Legs apart, put your head back, close your eyes and relax your body. Now with a few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Now we'll go to the other side, join your legs again. Now slowly fold your left leg, place your left ankle joint and right knee joint in the straight line. Left palm at the back, twist. You should lift your right hand up as you inhale from your right hand, twist and try to fix your shoulder to the leg, catch your at your foot. You can take support of your left hand and do the practice. Once you hold at your foot, if you can manage, try to bring your ankle and knee joint on the straight line, closer to each other and then open up your chest, lengthen your spine, look back, breathe. Stay for a minute. Your breath should be normal. Challenge yourself and hold the posture for one minute. Lengthen your spine, open up your chest. Now I should slowly lift your right hand up as you inhale. Exhale down, stretch your legs and relax in Shital and Asana for a while. Now with a few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Now, we'll get into next practice. In the next practice, we should come to the position of Ekapadasana first. So here, this is a very important posture and this posture will be acting as a base for many of the next upcoming practices. So, uh, pay some attention and do the practice. So, first you should come to the position of Ekapadasana. From Ekapadasana, you should just take your left foot in and place your left hip on the floor. Generally here what happens is either our body weight will shift entirely to the left hip or else if we lift the left hip and place the uh, right thigh on the floor. You should distribute your weight in such a way that your body weight will be uh, you know, distributed on left hip and as well as right thigh as well. Try to touch maximum surface of your left hip and right thigh on the floor. Adjust yourself first. Better tuck your toes in so it will be having good grip to uh, hold the, you know, keep the uh, feet in the proper position. So once you're done with this, you should twist your body to the left. If your left leg is front, just there will be a tendency of turning your body to the right. So twist, distribute your weight on the left hip and as well as your right thigh. And then if it is possible, then you can just place your elbows on the floor and it should be in the position. But mainly your waist position is very much important. Generally our waist position will be like this. If you work on twisting and stay and if you can't manage to reach your right thigh and left hip on the floor, you can balance this much day by day practicing, 
take your knee back. So this will increase the stretch to the hip region. So generally it will be somewhat like this. So day by day, take your knee back. Once you can manage to place your thigh on the floor, then you can work on placing your elbows on the floor and be in the position. Okay, I'll just demonstrate from the other leg as well. So, okay, we'll, we'll get into the practice from other side. So, better all of you take your right leg front and left leg back. Just tuck your toe in, take your right leg in and place your right hip on the floor. So, distribute your body weight on right hip and left thigh. Adjust your waist position first. Now, Step your hands forward. So make sure your right hip and as well as left thigh is touching to the floor. Adjust your waist position. When your right leg is front, twist your body to the right side slightly. If you can manage, just place your elbows on the floor. Adjust your waist position and breathe. Just stay for a minute. Breathe. Feel the stretch happening at your hip region. Just close your eyes and consciously observe the effects happening on your body. Now just step your hands back. Now just take your right leg back. Now while you get into the other side, you can take your left leg front. Adjust your waist position. Take your left leg in. Place your left knee next to your left palm. And this leg should not fold it. Uh, uh, should not fold too much lines okay take your keep your foot slightly away adjust your waist position hip left hip and right thigh should be touching on the floor now just place your elbows on the floor just feel the stretch close your eyes and stay for a minute Consciously observe the stretch happening. Thirty seconds more. Breathe. Now just step your hands back. Now stretch your legs forward and relax in Shital Dandasana for a while. Now with few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Next practice, it's a variation of Ardhamat Sindrasana. Uh, just watch the practice. So here, you should fold your left leg and take it towards left. Your toe should be pointing backward. And then you should fold your right leg and then you should keep your right foot away from the left knee. And then you should play, place your right hand at your back. From your left hand, you should just cover your right leg and then you should hold at your foot so and then you should open up your chest 
look back and stay. Later, if you can manage to bring your knees closer and do the practice, that's good. But avoid lifting your hip and do the practice. Your hip should be resting on the floor and do this practice, okay? So we'll start the practice. So first, fold your left leg and take it towards the left. And then you should just fold your right leg. First, initially place your right foot away from the left knee. You should lift your left hand up and from your left hand you should cover your right leg. Lock your shoulder to the knee and then catch hold at your foot. If it is possible, bring your foot closer to the knee. Adjust yourself. Expand your chest. Look back and stay. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now just lift your left hand up as we need. Exhale down. Now just stretch your legs forward. Yeah, and just relax in Shital Dandasana for a while. Legs apart. Put your head back and relax. Blinks. slowly open your eyes now we'll go to the opposite now just fold your right leg and take it towards right your toe should be pointing backward there should be gap between heel and your hip place your hip on the floor and just fold your left leg first let your foot place slightly away from the right knee and then left hand at your back lengthen your spine Lift your right hand up. From your right hand, cover your left leg. Lock your shoulder to the knee and try to hold at your foot. If it is possible, bring your knee, bring your foot closer to the knee. Expand your left shoulder. Lengthen your spine, open up your chest. Look back and stay. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Lift your right hand up as you inhale. Exhale down. Now just stretch your legs and relax in Shital Dandasana for a while. Now with a few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Now you should just stretch your legs forward. Now we'll get into the next practice. So here in the next practice, by taking support of your elbows, you should just lie on the back. Uh, I'll just watch, I'll just watch the demonstration. First step is you should place your right heel on the left thigh joint. Okay, you should pull it up and place your right heel on the left thigh joint 
and you should lift your other leg and lock your heel at the same place so this is the lock here and then from both the hands you should hold at your right knee and try to pull your knee to the center of the chest so here when you are pulling to the center of the chest generally will make this leg loose your left knee should also be pressing against the ankle so that your heel will be pressing against the pelvic and you should press here like this and knee towards the chest so that you'll get good stretch at the hip region okay so we'll get into the practice first fold your both legs and just place your right heel on the left thigh joint pull it up lift your left leg up fix your heel at the left thigh joint and catch hold your right knee from your both hands try to pull your knee to the center of the chest press and just close your eyes and stay for a minute breathe keep on pressing don't hold your breath feel the stretch happening at your hip region Slowly release, feet on the floor, relax your body for a while, especially relax your hip region. Now opposite, now just place your left leg on the right heel on the thigh joint first same key points lift your right leg up fix your heel at the thigh joint catch hold your left knee try to pull your knee to the center of the chest and be in the position for a minute feel the stretch and stay you can just close your eyes and breathe Slowly release. Place your feet on the floor and relax your body for a while. Especially relax your thigh joints and hip region. Love it few blinks open your eyes stretch your right hand over the head roll right side and get up so now all the practices which we did till now will be acting as a preparatory for an asana which is called as Ardha Matsyendra Asana so I'll just demonstrate the practice now so here in uh, Ardha Matsyendra Asana you just fold your you should just fold your right leg and take it below the left hip so you can rest your heel on the hip so sorry you can rest your hip on the heel and then you should place your left leg 
left foot next to the right knee and then she place your left hand at your back and then she lift your right hand up and from your right hand same thing you should twist you can take support of the left hand and try to lock your shoulder to the leg once you're locked then work on catching hold at the foot same thing here lengthen your spine open up your chest you should look back and be in the position okay so we'll get into the practice first fold your left leg take it uh, fold your right leg take it below the left hip so left hand at your back and then uh, place your fold your left leg and place the left foot next to the right knee so lock your ankle at the knee now left hand at your back place your palm on the floor lift your right hand up now from your right hand twist if you want you can take support of your left hand and press lock your shoulder to the knee and then try to hold at your foot lengthen your spine open up your chest look back and breathe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty now slowly lift your right hand up as inhale exhale release now just stretch your left leg forward and stretch your legs forward relax and shuttle and asana for a while now with few blinks open your eyes now we'll go to the other side fold your left leg and take it below the right your heel should be kept below the right hip and then left foot next to your so right foot next to your left knee twist right palm behind twist your waist now work on fixing your shoulder to the knee and try to hold at your foot expand your chest palm on the floor look back and stay 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 breathe normally 13 12 lift your left hand up as in hela exhale now just stretch your legs forward now just relax in shavasana stretch your legs now by taking support of your elbows you should just lie on your back now keep your legs apart hands away from the body palms facing upward eyes should be closed gently just loosen your whole body loosen all the muscles from tip of your toes to top of your head just calm down your mind feel 
and enjoy the relaxation. Loosen all the muscles and joints. And relax your whole body further and further. should just activate your internal awareness and channelize your awareness on breath flow now with complete awareness once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation now let's come out from shavasana step by step now with complete awareness just give movement to your toes slowly give movement to your ankles shake your both legs together Give movement to your fingers, wrist, both hands together. Now just turn your head to the right. Slowly turn your head to the left. Bring your head to the neutral position. Now just join your both legs. Bring your hands close to your body. Stretch your right hand over the head. Left palm on your abdomen. Slowly fold your left leg by pressing left foot on the floor, roll to the right. Rest your head on the right bicep and relax your body again. Now slowly come up by placing left palm in front of chest and taking support of right elbow and right palm. Sit in any comfortable meditating position. Your back should be straight. Close your eyes gently. Now let's conclude the session by chanting one omkara and three shantis. Slowly adapt namaskar mudra, join your palms each other. Inhale deeply. Om Shanti 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 Now slowly hold your hands at your back, hold at your breast. Stretch your neck up as you inhale and expand your chest. Slowly bend forward as you exhale and try to touch your forehead to the floor. Take blessing from Supreme Soul. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Release your hands and rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now just release your hands slowly. With few blinks, slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Have a great day. Thank you all. Thank you.